Now let's go over a little bit of character interaction. Can play the game again. You notice when I get close to this guy, he looks at me, he's aware of me. Same with this guy. There's two types of character interactions in games. The first where you look at someone and and they just say a little quote, like welcome to Aranin. You notice if I walk away, then he loses interest in me and he goes about his daily work. Or there's the type where you talk to someone and you have a choice. What do you want? Nothing or to kish, kick your trash, which option is not available, unfortunately. I cannot kill him. So, let's look at how that is done. Fairly simple. On the first man, we have just the character in his speech bubble. He also has all his collisions and he has his facing which is much the same to mine and then he has the under the create event he has hit points in case I do decide to kill him and very will attack you if he gets mad at me that would be set to one this is for future reference if I was going to make it so he would fight me if I so chose to fight him then we have alarms for him his attack under step is what we have here. We have his health, we have his speed, we have his walk direction. He just randomly walks with a, a roll of the dice under the control. He has a chance to move in a random direction. He also has a chance to stop. <coughs> and here's how we do the talking. It's controlled in this little box here. If my character distance is smaller than 25 to him which is controlled by the wall block I point, he'll point to a direction um, he'll face me wherever I am and his speed will be stopped but if he, also if his distance is uh, smaller than 25 and I push this button to talk to him it'll pop up this bubble right here speech bubble and in this speech bubble I can have whatever words I want under the draw event I draw the speech bubble I set the font which had to be really small because the resolution wasn't uh, that big in this game and I put the words draw text color Welcome to Dratix Color Aranin. This is line one. This is line two. Under the Merc, we have a little bit more complicated. We have the arrow, which, when this arrow is in existence, it mutes all or takes over any other control, kind of like the crosshair in tutorial one. I have a portrait that displays at a certain location away from the character and I have options he'll ask his question uh, under the Merc have the normal controls uh, let's see here uh, alarms if the arrow is touching the exit and I hit the button then it, it destroys all instances of the buttons and the in the arrow make sure everything is destroyed so I can move properly again and since I don't have a I don't have an option prepared for the kick your trash one right here it's empty but I was gonna make it to where when I said that he'd get mad he'd turn into an enemy and he'd start fighting me but I haven't finished that one yet and Basically, what you want to do is, and it's not it's not finished yet, but you want to make it to where that arrow appears, and when the arrow is there, you can move the arrow and, and the arrow only, and you select your option, and then triggers execute what happens next. Okay, that was uh, that's it for that one.